The TT Circuit Assen is the toughest shootout arena Fifth Gear has ever been to. This legendary Dutch track is a challenging mix of the fast and the technical. Known as the Cathedral, it normally has a congregation of 160,000 cheering fans who flocked from all over the world. Today, though, it's all ours. We're going to be testing a very modern phenomenon, the sporty diesel. BMW's 535D M Sport and Jaguar's XF Diesel S. Both have performance to keep petrol heads happy, but with fuel economy only a diesel can provide. All I want to know is, which is quickest? We'll start with the BMW. Oh, my word. Good grief. This steering wheel is the size of a satellite dish and poorly weighted as well, actually. Oh, dear me. I'd really like a lot more feedback, actually, through the steering. I'm feeling a bit like a chauffeur, really. There's no connection between me and the track. I'm really surprised that this car is a diesel, actually, because it's pulling nicely out of the corners and it's revving up to about 5,500 RPM. Oh, understeer. Oh. And a bit of body roll. Oh, I think I'm going to feel sick. <laughs> oh, dear. But I'm not interested in sick bags. I'm interested in lap times. Into the first corner, then onto the brakes. Use the paddle shifts to go down the gears. This car is so well insulated that I couldn't even hear that gear change. Even though I am doing speeds over 100 miles an hour, it's pretty undramatic in the cabin. It does feel like I'm just pottering along the M1. Through this chicane here, and then the wonderful grandstand on my left, and the pits and the garages on my right as we go past the start finish straight. And I potter down the M1 in a time of 2 minutes 14. Now for the Jag. The main differences between this and the BMW are that I can hear the diesel engine. I'm falling sort of out of the seat here. It doesn't give me enough side support. The brakes aren't as powerful and also not quite as much grip as there was in the BMW. Oh, understeer is so tedious. Anyway, time for a quick lap. Oh, run out of room. Really run out of room there. At the first checkpoint, the Jaguar is four tenths behind. Up to 110 onto the brakes. Down again. Oh, you can almost hear that the brakes launching already, and I've barely done a few laps. By the second checkpoint, the Jaguar has fallen six tenths behind. Through the fast flowing corners, it seems. All is good, up to 110 miles an hour there in fourth gear, but it's breaking down to these slower, tighter corners where the BMW shows its superior sporty class. So coming up to the last complex now here at Assen. Right, then a left, keep the power on, grab more gears, third gear there. And at the finish line, the BMW wins by seven tenths of a second. So not only is it the more economical car, it's also the quickest.